And now Smooth Jazz. Ooh, Smooth Jackie. I like it. Uh, and definitely part of your morning moment. As venues <laughs> start to open up, we are starting to see some bookings, some concerts being announced. Now this morning, we are happy to say that the first event that will be reopening Hoyt Sherman Place will be their free concert series, Jazz in July. Reopening Hoyt Sherman Place with Jazz in July is the perfect soft segue into going back to full capacity because we have this beautiful expansive lawn to start the evening. Those people that do not want to come inside for the headliner show at 730, we're planning on pumping the music out to the lawn as well so they can stay outside. And we were averaging about 300, 400 attendees in the past years. So with 1,252 seats, there's still the ability to safely spread out within the building. And as you know, even the back row of the balcony has fantastic acoustics. And we really, really are going to come out of this stronger than ever. Our lineup for the fall after September 1, all of these artists that were on sale before, including Gladys Knight, have all waited, want to come back. We want them to come back. Uh, they are also using this opportunity for an open house to see the newly expanded Center for Artists and Education. So I am completely impressed by Executive Director Robert Warren. He has kept the entire staff at Hoyt Sherman working during the pandemic. That's wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the renovations that have been happening inside, I don't know if you've been following along on social media. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. So there's a lot to experience and see and enjoy when those doors open up once again. So more do details on Jazz in July or those upcoming concerts can all be found at HoytSherman.org.